Hello and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens and I'm Carboot Chris and today I'm doing a different kind of video. I've not done one of these before. I'm going to do a picking video. It's Bank Holiday Monday, um, Easter weekend. So I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday and half of today to um, pick. I've got 33 paid orders, which is not bad at all for the weekend. And um, I've got to pick them all out of this warehouse garage and i'll show you as i go along what's been purchased and how much and um that's about it really let's see how this goes So I've got my iPad. I'm going to check off the orders as I go along. Um, because I use this stacking system, what I need to make sure I do, and it doesn't always work, is that if I take something from the stack, I want to make sure that there's nothing else that needs to go out from that same stack. Because there's not worse than stacking it all back up and then having to go back to the bottom bin. So that's the plan. Doesn't always work out that way. Um, but and I've just sold something else as well and paid for, so that's good. So that's 34. So, okay, let's start picking. Um, see if what the easiest lot of stuff to go is first, so I can make some headway into it. Um, okay, so have I got any cushion covers? One so far, one so far. One, one, one. Oh, two. Two cushion covers. So I've got Atari ET and Killer Clowns. So I know that they're in these boxes, so there's the first one out of the way. There's two, hopefully. So I've got Atari, E.T. and Killer Clown. So they are in some remnants of order. Let's just swing back to that one. Okay. Okay, yep, got that as one. Nope. Oh, thought I had it. There it is. And another one. Oh, here we go. That was easy. So the first two items, Killer Clowns cushion cover. That went for $9.99 plus postage. And an Atari um, game cushion cover, and that went for $8.99 plus postage. So the first two down. Now I haven't got any more cushion covers to go out. So that's that little stack done. Don't need to go back into those. Okay, let's move on. Jackets. Adidas British Lines Rugby Jacket. So that's a sports jacket. Any more sports jackets? Any more sports jackets? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes. Volleyball Vintage Jacket. And that is it. So volleyball jacket and British Lions rugby. So that's over here. I've got light jackets, sports. So I know they're in one of those two bins in theory. And I say in theory because it quite often fails. Oh. 
oh, this is a bad part about these boxes. So, British Lions Volleyball. Let's see if we can get them fairly quick. I don't think they're in the first one. Let's try this one. This one's more full, so I'm going to have to take a couple of bits out to get them. British Lions. That's NFL. Is that it? Is that the British Lions one? Yes, I think it is. Just double check it. Because I have similar items. That's the one. The one with tags. Yes. So there's the British Lions. Jacket new with tags. $29.99 that sold for Adidas. That's quite nice. So that's $29.99. And now I'm looking for a volleyball one. Which should be out of spot because of the colour of it. But I'm not spotting it for some reason. It's just double. Oh, it's blue. I was looking for red. Silly boy. I know, unless it could be in a in a different box. That's not it. Here it is. The system works. We are in the game. Here we go. So, vintage um, Patriot volleyball jacket. There it is. Interesting item. And that went for £30 dead on. £30. There's two jackets, £30 a piece. Not bad little sales there. So there's no more sports jackets, so let me check if there's anything else on that stack, which means light jackets or Primark stuff. So let me just have a little swizz. Light jackets or Primark. Light jackets or Primark. No. Okay, no. Nothing else to come out of this stack, so I can put it back. I can put it back, safe in the knowledge that I do not have to revisit that one and do my backing. So when you get to my age, yeah, you don't want to do your backing. Now, I know there's some cycling sales, some cycling jersey top sales, so I might as well do them. I can get these first two stacks done. Any tracky tops first? Don't think I remember any tracky tops selling. No, that's not a tracky top, but we'll come back to that. That's a hoodie. T shirts. There's just two cyclings. Okay, I think we're clear. Yeah. So one two cycling jerseys which at the moment i've only got one box oh god that's heavy eventually i'm going to have a couple of these at least so i know these two are reasonably recent so they're going to be near the top so i've got a h2 black and a castelli indiana white so Oh, there's the H2. So that's the first site. Remember all these cycling jerseys I bought? That one has sold. That has gone for £17. So that's not a bad little sale. Well, they're all not bad. They're all good sales at the end of the day. That's sold, isn't it? Castelli University. Now, this is white and there's quite a lot that look whitish. So I'm going to be lucky to find this one 
quite as easily as that one. I might have to take some out. Yeah. Well, I can see it's not in that lot. White with black and red. Is that it? No, that's Valia or whatever you call it. I'm gonna, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna have to take out this whole frigging lot just to find this one. Nope, not that. That's not it. Come on. Come on, where are you? Come on, show yourself. Show yourself, is that it? Is that it? I don't think that's it. Nope, I've got it. Could be that. That's it. Got it. So it's a bonus with these because they've got distinct colours. You can normally sort of fish through and find them. So it's that one. It's Indiana University cycling jersey. That's all for £22. So there you go. So let's put the rest of these away. Try to keep them a little bit neat, but when you when you start rifling through them, you know they start getting messed up. So we'll do the same principle as last time. Anything else in this stack needs to come out. They're all thick coats there, so I don't think I've sold any coats. Let's see, coats, coats. I keep having to say it over and over again as I'm looking, so that I don't miss something. Coats, no. Any coats? Anyone for coats? No, 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 no. Okay, that's another stack done. That is another one done. Bloody hell! Oh god, there's got to be a better way. Okay, what else have we got? Done, done. Let's move over. Sports jerseys. I know I've sold at least one, which is, and I think it's uh, an India cricket top. There it is. Nike India cricket top. I think that's the only one. Nike India cricket top. That's it. Okay. Let's put it up here so I don't bring me back in. I'm sound like a right old fart. Let's see if there's any clue. Is it that one? Is it that one? Tenor, tenor it's this one. Get in there, look at that. See, that is the bonus of clear ones because you can see inside whereabouts it might be so that's in india cricket top and what did that go for what did we sell that for 29.99 29.99 that was one from america that from a goodwill i think so that's cool so that is the only sports jersey Anything else in this stack? So what have we got? Short sleeve sports, t-shirts, fleece jumpers and hoodies, fleece jumpers and hoodies sports. Now I'm sure I've got some more stuff on here. So let's see what we got. T-shirts, share. I've got a Guinness rugby. I've got a Johnny Lang hoodie. Oh, I've got loads. I'm going to have to do them one at a time. Let's do... Let's see if there's any sports. First. Nope. Right. There's no sports tees. But there is t-shirts. Now, this is super heavy. This one is a bugger. what have we got out of here we have share which I've only listed today and it's sold straight away 
Where's Cher? Come on, show yourself. Show yourself. There it is. I knew that was on the top. So we've got a Cher t shirt. Cher, do you believe? And that's sold for £35. I actually listed it at £49.99. And it went on an offer we negotiated to 35 So I'm happy to let that go. Um, bird in the hand. You know what I mean? So that's share. What else we've got here? We've got Disney Powerline. That's that one, believe it or not. Because I've only listed it yesterday. Disney Powerline Tour, that's very cool. Quite unusual. Um, that sold for £22.50. Um, I did have it up for £29.99, but again, bird in the hand is what I always say. Uh, and I think there's one more in here. Suicide Silence. Which one is it now? So I've got a couple of them. Suicide Silence Deathcore. Oh, Peter Ray will like this one. Peter Ray, if you're watching, ever heard of this band, Suicide Silence? Personally, I haven't, but I'm not into it, so I wouldn't have, would I? Because I don't sort of go in for it. Is that it? Is that the one? I'll just compare it. That's the one. There we go. Suicide Silence. And that went for $14.99. Again, only listed yesterday. Very, very quick that one sold. I reckon someone had a save search. For those teas, I did go quite low on that. I don't really know because it was they weren't going for massive amounts, you know, they weren't like 20 pound plus. But just get that off there, okay? I think that's it for standard teas. That's it, that is it. So let's see what else. Bloody hell. What else comes out of here? So, I've got, come on, I wonder if there's a better view to look at. Um, Guinness Rugby, Guinness Rugby and Johnny Lang hoodie, I think that's it. Oh. I think I've missed a t-shirt. I've missed a t-shirt, a job lot. Oh, it's right at the bottom. I can see them. I've missed a job lot of t-shirts. Bugger. You see, I knew this would happen, but at least I've not put the staff back. Okay. I'm going to have to get all these out. Because they're at the bottom, they're in these bags. Ugh. That is annoying. Bloody hell. Come on, out you come. See, I don't want to mess them up too much because I want to put them back nice and neat, which might be harder than it looks because I need to get to the damn bottom. What ones is it? Because I've got a few of these. Attack on Titan and Turtles. Please be the first one. Don't you just love it when it's the first thing you get out? But Sod's Law tells me it ain't gonna be. I'm gonna have to take more out. Bloody t-shirts. Bloody hell. Oh, please be this one. Please be this one here that's right there asking to be looked at. Bastard. Not that one. 
I knew it wouldn't be. Please be this one. Please be second one. At least be the second one. That's got. Bastard. Please be the third, at least. I mean, there's not too much to ask for it to be the third one, is it? I don't think, anyway. Oh! Could that be it? That's that one. That one. That's it. I've got it. Third one out. So it's a bun. I won't. I can't be bothered showing you all four, but it's a bundle of Loot Crate T-shirts, um, and they went for seventeen pound eighty-seven for some reason. Um, but I'll just show you one. They're all out of Loot Crate. That's the Turtles one. So seventeen pound eighty-seven plus postage. Every every price I'm giving you is plus postage because I don't do free postage except for single media items. So four t-shirts for that. So they've got a good little price there. It's just over four pound each, about what four pound fifty each t-shirt. That's decent because I've sold loot crate t-shirts for ten pound each. Even more than that sometimes. So that's not a bad little deal for them. Now I've got to put all this back. Put all of this back. <sighs> what a pain in the backside. Get in there like that. I bet you now these don't bloody fit in this box now. Even though I've taken all those out, bet you it doesn't fit. This is boring viewing, isn't it? Watching me pack a box. Maybe I'll just fast forward this bit. Oh, look at that Sonic, Sonic t-shirt. Surprised that hasn't gone. It's not gone in the same way, I'll tell you that much. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fit. It might fit. It's gonna fit. I told you it would. Oh, lose the tags. Get in there. Right. T-shirt's done. Now there's a hoodie and a fleece. No, yeah, a hoodie and something else. Guinness. Trust it to be at the bottom. So first one out. First one is this Guinness. I, I listed it as a rugby style long sleeve top, striped. Nice condition. That sold for nineteen ninety nine. Now I need the other one, which is a hoodie. What colour are we looking for here? Blue Johnny Lang hoodie. Now I'm wondering if it's this. No, it's not XXL on that, is it? Nope, not that one. What's in the other box? That's sports, so it's got to be in here. If this system is any good, it's got to be in this box. There it is. There it is. Whoop. There it is. Right, there we go. Johnny Lang. It's a huge hoodie. Country music, I think. Is it country music? Possibly. Um, £25 that, Johnny Lang. Not a bad price.
Okay, so now I'm satisfied that that stack is now redundant. I do not need to get anything else out of there. Jeepers. Okay. All right, what have we got next? We've got caps, I think. I think we've sold a few caps. So caps are here. Sports caps are in one. And caps that are non-sports, i.e. everything else, is in that one. So I've got Florida Panthers red and grey. See if I can find that first. Because I've got a lot of caps. Florida Panthers. See, I'm looking for the red, so red and grey. It's a reflective one, so I know that it's got a very distinctive look about it. Having said that, not that distinctive because I'm not finding it. Here it is. Is that it? I think that's it. That's the one. Florida Panthers, Mitchell and Ness cap. And the thing about this one is it's reflective underneath, which is a nice little selling point. And that's sold for 19 99 Now, there's more caps sold, so let me just scroll through and see if there's anything else. Here we go. Start a black label. Now, is that going to be sports or none? Oof. It's cord. It's cord, so let me double check. I think it, I think just starter on its own is going to be non, non sports, and I'll put my money on it that it's non sports. I think it's non sports, so we'll see if there's any other sports. Oh, two red ones. Washington Nationals red. Philadelphia Phillies, red. So two red ones. One's got a black top button and one's got a red button. Which might help me pinpoint it. It's not those, so. Here we go, what's this? Philadelphia, Phillies, cat, six and a half, new. That's that one. Washington Nationals, six and three eighths, new. I'm satisfied that they are the correct ones. So, we can move on. That's it for sports caps. Just for sports. Now I've got to get these back in. Okay. 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 never goes in the way you took it out, does it? That'll do. Okay, so that's sports caps. So I've got one non-sport, which is that starter one. There it is. It's like a corduroy, so it should stick out like a sore thumb. There it is. You can see it straight away. That one. So that one is so, oh sorry, the two kids caps were £10 each, the two red caps that I just showed you, sorry I forgot to tell you. This one has gone, 
Oh, that one went for $26.99. So that was quite a nice sale. It was a good price. $26.99. Unusual cap. And really nice inside. Look at that. So there you go. Four caps today. Right. Bags or clothing other. Which I don't think... Ooh. I don't think there's anything else in that stack. We've actually picked quite a lot already, really. Got toys to do yet. Okay, so now we're getting onto the more sort of random items. A lot, of, quite a few toys. So we'll see what we can find. Okay, we've got. T-Rex 16 inch and a T-Rex smaller one. There it is, 8 inch, 16 and 8 inch loose toys, probably. Oh, bloody hell. Loose figures. Should have known. Schoolboy having that. It's in loot. No, it's in loose figures. So two Jurassic World, both Jurassic World, um, thingamajiggies, that one sold for 15 that one sold for 7 .99. all plus postage. Anything else here? Okay, we've got a Breaking Bad Los Polos Hermanos rug, which sold for £10. Who's that one? That was easy enough. Double check these trainers because I've got a few of these. I need to make sure I pick the right ones. Let's check the label. Converse uh, 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 158321 C 8.5 UK. Right. There we go. These one these Converse trainers sold for £20 plus postage. Brand spanking new. Get 
There we go. Okay, let's see what is next. Small and random. Doctor Who item, which I think is in here. Oh. Doctor Who Sonic Spork from a loot crate, $7.99 that's sold for. Where's the lid gone for that? Oh, there it is. I think that's it for this stack. So we're working our way down the end. So I can put these back. Put that back. Now. Oh. Let's see what else. Camera there. Many figures, I don't think. DVDs, I have sold one out of Walt Disney's House of Villains. It was the one I had all of. So that DVD has gone for £10 with free postage because it's a single media item, free postage. Large lot of that. Let's see what else we've got. No more media. Which is surprising, I thought I might have sold a few more media bits and bobs. I've got a camera that has sold. If I can find it, there it is. Canon EOS 500. Canon EOS 500, there it is, and I took her on, an offer on it, it went for £35 that. So some decent value of stuff going out, let's see what else we've got, I don't think there's anything else out of there. Okay. everything back in the right place. Ugh. Board games. Now I know I've sold some board games. Two only fools and horses. And what's the other one? Where's the other one gone? Come on. There it is. Best of TV logos. Which is that one. So that one went for £10. 
best of TV and movies logos. Uh, so that was a tenner. And I sold a double. I was selling these together in the same listing. Only Fools and Horses. Uh, that's the DVD board game and that one's just the trading game or whatever. $29.99 for the two, which I think that was good. $29.99. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Some plushes. Little bundle there. NHL. Mark Messier figure. So let's get these back because I've got nothing else here. Be the button one moment. Mark Messier, there it is. Mark Messier, is that the correct one? New York Rangers, McFarlane, Series 3. That's the one. £26.50 that went for. Quite a nice uh, figure. That came from the States. Came from the US of A. Okay, we're getting down to the bare bones now. You'll be pleased to know because this video is going to go on forever. Got, got, got. It's like a trading card, isn't it? Got, oh. James Herriot, all creatures great and small, would have to be the bottom one. Jesus, that is mental. Oh. There it is. Whoop, there it is. James Herriot box set, 19.99. There it is, James Herriot, 19.99. Space Odyssey. Okay, no more books. It's a good job because that is a backbreaker. Sorry this video has ended up being so long, but it just takes ages to pick your orders, doesn't it? Especially when my room is so poorly, well, it's not poorly organised, it's not amazing, is it? Uh, okay. Toys. A few plushes. We've got a Disney Cinderella wedding plush. So there's a whole Disney stack. It's not that one. There it is. Ooh, there it is. Okay, that's it. Twelve ninety nine. That one went for twelve ninety nine. Okay, next up. Oh, 
Oh, hang on, I've got more Disney here. More Disney. Lion King, Simba and Five Inch Pumba. Simba and Pumba. Now, I don't think it's going to be in this one. No, it's not, it's not in that one. So, it's not a Disney large, that one. Could be a Disney small. Unless I've accidentally split these up. Which is every chance of it. I need to look at that one. Could be that one. Let's have a look at the tag. Right. That's Pumba. But it looks like when I've reorganised, I've not realised that that is part of a double pack. So, Simba's been put somewhere else. Here's where it goes tits up. in here. What does he look like? Which one is he? Okay, he's got a tag, so that helps. There it is. Whoop. There it is. Yep. So that was a mistake on my part. I split them up. There we go. Any more Disney? Any more for any more? Yes, there is another Disney. Brother Bear. Okay. Okie dokie, where is it? Where are you, you bugger? Should be able to spot that one. Is that it? Is it a big one? Is it that one? Sixteen inch, that's the one. That's the one. Has he got a Disney stamp on? Yes, okay. Fifteen ninety nine that's sold for. The boxes are getting full now. I think now I'm on to non Disney clutches. The Disney stack away. Tell you what, I've got some packaging to do tonight. So, I've got a Mario bundle. I've got a Queen's Corgi. And Hotel Transylvania. It's got to be here. Pretty sure it's not that that one. Here's the Mario bundle. Three plushes. Four. Fourteen ninety nine, I think. By the looks of that. Three Mario's. Oh, now I just need Queen's Corgi, Hotel Transylvania. Not in that one. There's the Corgi. Again, clear boxes, much better. I thought he'd rip them, but he hasn't. He's just got a little Velcro thing. Queen's Corgi went for... Sorry, I've lost it. 19.99, there's a, a surprising one. 
there you go. Really nice plush that, 19.99. We must be at the end now, come on. You're taking the mickey here, Chris. You are taking the Michael. So now I need, I need Hotel Transylvania bundle. Is that it? Please be it. Please be it. Yes. Okay, last item. And then you can be on your merry way, get some work done, get some listing done. Sell, sell, sell. Move these. I haven't found a home for these yet. Uh, cartoon bundles, other, which is, it is. Hotel Transylvania. There it is. So, how much did they pay? Twelve ninety nine. So you get the plush and you get the Blu-ray together. Twelve pound ninety nine. And that, my friends, is the end of this video. You'll be pleased to know I've picked everything from. The Easter weekend sales, that's 34 sales. I have got another four or five that haven't paid yet, so they're not getting picked unless they sort of pay pretty sharpish. So that's it. Um, you don't need to see me packaging these. This has been far too long anyway. But I hope you found it interesting watching me pick and you've seen how I lay out um, my stock room. So I'm going to take these all up to the packaging office and we'll see you all soon. So, see you later. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll catch up soon.